Happy days are once again for Atlanta United with two successive wins. Welcome to your favorite online soccer show Atlanta News Weekly Report. We will again review the latest and hottest soccer stories in Atlanta, Georgia, and its nearby areas for the past week. On Wednesday, three of the top players of Atlanta United played superbly to carry the team to a 3-2 win over the visiting CF. Pachica on June 14 at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium for the American Family Insurance Cup. Major League Soccer veterans Joseph Martinez and Dom Dwyer provided two of the winning goals for the team. Argentine striker Luis Arajo gave the other goal. Martinez, who is back from injury, scored the match's first goal. The second goal for the team came from Arajo. After the visitors tied the count at 2-2, Dwyer then showed his experience by scoring the late and winning goal for the team. Aside from winning the match, the game was extra special since injured United players. Goalkeeper Brad Husen and defender were also part of the game. Husen made his broadcasting debut in the game. Robinson, for his part, is the guest player during the halftime. The victory also allowed the team to lift the Amerian Family Insurance Cup trophy. Pachica is a six-time Liga MX champion and advanced to the final of the recently completed Clausura campaign. The Dalgo Capital Club has been crowned champions of CONCACAF five times, winning the CONCACAF Champions League in 2017 and 2010, while also winning its previous iteration, the Champions Cup, in 2008 and 2007 and 2002. Pachuca also won the 2006 Copa Sudamericana, the international competition inviting the best teams from CONCACAF and Timebol. On Thursday, the ongoing 2022 Major League Soccer season of Atlanta United could be considered a mix of success and failures. As United enters the June international break with a 4-5-4 record, let's try to see the important numbers that shaped the team in the first three months of MLS play. On Thursday, another piece of good news as Brazilian striker defender Raymer was voted the United Soccer League Player of the Week. Raymer was honored for leading the Atlanta United 2 to a 2-0 win over the visiting Laudan United FC 2-0 at the 5th Third Bank Stadium on June 11. Raymer was a man on a mission in the game as he scored two winning goals for the team. The win is also special since it ended United 2's two-game losing streak. The 20-year-old footballer earned 47% of the vote from the USL National Media Panel, which comprises representatives from each media market in the championship. Aside from Raymer, goalkeeper Justin Garces also played well for the team as came up with a heroic save to keep Atlanta on top. In his return to the squad, Garces made five saves and kept his first clean sheet of the season. United 2, 3-10-1, 10 points, hopes to sustain its winning momentum when they host the Hartford Athletic on June 18 at the 5th Third Bank Stadium. On Friday, we learned that the defensive alignment of Atlanta United is set to get a much-needed boost in the next few days. According to reports, United is set to acquire Tigers UNL centre-back Juan Jose Sanchez Pirata on loan. Once the deal is finalized, Pirata will be a big help in defence for the team since its star centre-back, Miles Robinson, is injured after suffering a ruptured Achilles on May 7 against Chicago Fire FC. Sanchez Pirata has been with Tigers senior team since 2017. In the 2021-2022 campaign, he made 13 appearances. Earlier, three of the top players of Atlanta United played superbly to carry the team to a 3-2 win with a visiting CF Pachuca on June 14 at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium for the American Family Insurance Cup. Major League Soccer veterans Joseph Martinez and Don Dwyer provided two of the winning goals for the team. Argentine striker Luis Arango gave the other goal. Martinez, who is back from injury, scored the match's first goal. The second goal for the team came from Al Radio. After the visitors tied the count at 2-2, Dwyer then showed his experience by scoring the late and winning goal for the team. Aside from winning the match, the game was extra special since injured United players, goalkeeper Brad Husen and defender were also part of the game. Husen made his broadcasting debut in the game. Robinson, for his part, is the guest player during the halftime. The victory also allowed the team to lift the Amerian Family Insurance Cup trophy. Pachica is a six-time Liga MX champion and advanced to the final of the recently completed Quasra campaign. The Hidalgo Capital Club has been crowned champions of CONCACAF five times, 
winning the CONCACAF Champions League in 2017 and 2010, while also winning its previous iteration, the Champions Cup, in 2008 and 2007 and 2002. Pachuca also won the 2006 Copa Sudamericana, the international competition inviting the best teams from CONCACAF and CONMEBOL. On Monday, we start the week on a good note, as the deadly combination plays of Atlanta United stars Luis Arajo and Joseph Martinez finally yielded a positive result for the team. On June 19, Arajo and Martinez helped each other to produce goals for the team in their 2-0 win over the visiting Inter-Miami CF at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. In the fourth minute of that game, Martinez dished out an excellent assist to Arajo, who scored a one-touch shot on the left side to put Atlanta United ahead 1-0. In the 61st minute, Arraigo returned the favor and dished out an excellent assist to Martinez, who knocked it home with a high, one-touch shot to put Atlanta ahead 2-0. The win allowed United to get three points. The win came after United's 3-2 win over the visiting CF Pachuca on June 14 at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium for the American Family Insurance Cup. The team hopes to continue its winning streak when they travel to Canada to take on Toronto FC before heading on to New York for back-to-back -back matches against the Red Bulls and defending MLS Cup champion New York City FC. On Tuesday, Atlanta United announced on June 21 that they had signed Mexican goalkeeper Raul Gudino through the end of the 2022 season with an option to extend. Gudino will occupy international roster spot pending receiving his international transfer certificate, IT, and P1 visa and will be available for selection when the MLS secondary transfer window opens on July 7. The signing of Gudino is intended to plug the hole in the absence of veteran goalkeeper Brad Guzan who is out with an injury. Vice President and Technical Director Carlos Bacanegra are happy with the signing of Udino since his experience is a huge boost to the team. Roel was a free agent that was well sought after, and we're pleased to be able to secure his services for Atlanta United, Bacanegra said. He's a goalkeeper with experience in big environments, and we're looking forward to integrating him into the group, Bacanegra added. The 26-year-old has made 164 professional appearances and recorded 41 clean sheets in his career for Chivas Guadalajara, Apol FC, CF Udel Madeira, and FC Porto B. He has also made five appearances for the Mexican national team, most recently in October 2019. Gudino was out of contract and most recently played with Chivas Guadalajara. Gudino has also made five appearances for the Mexican national team, making his debut in a friendly against Costa Rica on Oct 12, 2018, as a substitute in a 3-2 victory for Mexico. Udino represented Mexico at the U-17, U-20, and U-23 levels. He was the starting goalkeeper for Mexico's U-17 team that won the 2013 CONCACAF U-17 championship, where he was awarded the Golden Glove of the tournament and the Mexico squad that finished as the runner-up at the 2013 FIFA U-17 World Cup. Gudino was named CONCACAF Youth Goalkeeper of the Year for his play in both tournaments in 2013. He was part of Mexico's U-20 squad at the 2015 FIFA U-20 World Cup and started one match. This week's soccer stories are just mind-boggling and one of a kind. Thank you so much for watching our episode this week. Always make it a habit to watch our show on YouTube and other social media channels. Aside from our show, make it a habit to visit our website https colon slash slash atlantasoccer.news slash for the latest and hottest soccer news in Atlanta and its surrounding areas. If you love our show, make it a point to like, comment, and share this with your family and friends. COVID-19 remains a threat, so don't forget to get vaccinated. Always keep yourself safe, guys. Goodbye for now.